All right, guys, welcome to your 23rd tutorial. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is let me just add a comment account button so we don't get lost here. So, this was the account button, and now we have to work on the amazing Mega 3 column layout, which is actually incredibly simple. You guys are going to see. So, let's scroll down here and add another comment. And this just makes it easy to see because we're usually going to have, you know, this HTML file is going to be pretty long. So whenever I'm scrolling through it, I notice these green things, and those are like the main um, parts that stand out. But anyways, this is going to be the profile button. So that's what my comment will say. Profile button. All right. So of course, the first thing we need to do is we need to add a list item and our anchor tag. I think that's what it is. So what this does is it basically creates the button on your toolbar at the bottom so we now have a profile button and let me actually make sure that everything is showing up alright so what this does is it creates our profile button on the toolbar but now what we need to do is we need to create all the good stuff and let's go ahead and break this down before I show you guys uh, what we're doing what we're doing is we're creating a three column layout it's a layout that fits, and by layout I pretty much mean drop up menu. It's a drop up menu that fits one, two, three columns. So we know that's how many columns, but now let's break down how many rows. Well, we have one row, and this actually is a row that takes up three wide. It takes up the whole thing, it's just to the left. We have another row. This is another row right here. So one, two, three, four and then this is actually an entire row right here so we have five rows so this imagine it like a grid where it's three wide by five tall so that's what we have to create and I want to show you guys how to do it so the first thing we have to tell our program is just how big of a layout that you do you want or how wide is this gonna be so div class equals three column layout it really doesn't care how tall it is that's up to you whenever you're making crap in it right now it just needs to know how wide to make it so now just go ahead and end that div and now the next thing you need to write is now that it knows it's three columns you need to start creating your rows now whenever you create a row the only thing that you need to do is say how wide do you want this row so the first one is going to be all three columns wide you can probably uh, get away with making this only two columns wide because the first row is this text example of three columns but why not make it three columns wide you know just in case so this is how you create an individual row I guess I can give myself a little bit more space here div class equals column and then you say how wide do you want this row basically so col 3 means I'm gonna take up three columns now just go ahead and end your div and you put your content of your row right in here now the content of our row just says example of three columns and it's actually a heading 2 so heading 2 heading 2 and it just says example of three columns so what we did right here is we basically created this very first row now remember that I told you guys whenever you create a new row using this format you just can't go on to the next row what you need to do is you need to add that special clear class now let me see if I can find it it's gonna be a pain in the butt because I know I probably can't actually I'm gonna find it because it's really important now remember that I said you add this in between rows now what this says is it basically in everyday common terms it says hey browser I'm going to a new row but in technical terms what it's saying is okay nothing can float to the left or to the right of me and this ensures that instead of creating elements you know on the right hand side if it has space it says uh uh make sure that nothing floats to the left or the right hand side of me so basically push anything I'm about to write on a new row 
So in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to add three individual pieces of information. So here is how you do that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and copy this and copy that and add my other div. And this is just the cheat div. However, if we did this, or I forgot to add my clear class, that is kind of embarrassing. So after each row, class equals clear. And you can just end a div on the same line because this right here, it doesn't show anything on the screen. It's just for your browser to say, hey, you're moving to a new row. So this was the first row. Now let's go ahead and create the second row right here. Now the second row, like I said, it has three individual columns. So if we added this, it would take up three columns wide, but we actually want three of these that take up one column. So this is going to take up one column, this is going to take up another column, and this is going to take up another column. So you can either have a row that takes up three columns, or a row that takes up three columns using three individual blocks. So from here, we can just, you know, add a paragraph or something.